Praise be to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, the creator of all the creations, the one that does not need anything. Allah does not resemble the creations in any way. Whatever you imagine in your minds, Allah is different from it. He does not resemble anything. Allah does not need any of his creations. We all need him. We ask Allah to raise the rank of Prophet Muhammad, his kind al, family and companions. Without a doubt, the prophets of Allah are cleared of lying. They don't lie. They don't commit enormous sins, nor mean small sins. They never commit blasphemy, neither before prophethood nor after. They never doubt about the existence of Allah. One day, when Prophet Ibrahim saw his people worshipping the idols, Aslam, he went to warn them and guide them, but they would not accept. So he then came to them with a clever approach to refute them, so they can realize that those idols don't deserve to be worshipped. They cannot create benefit or harm to anyone. So he went and destroyed their idols, and then hung the axe on the head idol. Then when his people came and saw the idols destroyed, they questioned him, Who did this to our idols? Prophet Ibrahim told them what is mentioned in the ayah, قَالَ بَلْ فَعَلَهُ كَبِيرُهُمْ هَذَا فَاسْأَلُوهُمْ إِنْ كَانُوا يَنْطِقُونَ The ayah means, the head idol caused me to destroy the other idols. Ask them if they are able to speak. Here Prophet Ibrahim is in fact not lying. Rather, he answered in a way to refute those idol worshippers. As he said, the head idol caused me to destroy the other idols. And that is what he meant. Its meaning is true, and in reality what he said is true. This is so because the head idol was the one who caused Ibrahim to destroy the other idols. Ibrahim did that out of his enormous anger from the biggest idol, since Ibrahim's people exaggerated in respecting and beautifying its image and form, and so they worshipped it, when only Allah deserves to be worshipped. So in what we said, attributing the action to the big idol is symbolic, and there is no lying in that. All the prophets are always Muslim believers. Allah sent the prophets to guide the people, and so all the prophets and messengers were guided, and always had the proper belief in Allah. They never doubted about Allah's existence, and they never worshipped anyone other than Allah. Allah Ta'ala said in Al-Qur'an, Surah Al-Baqarah, Ayah 213, Kana The ayah means, the people were at first one nation. Allah sent the prophets to give the good news and to warn. So all the prophets came with the same religion, the same belief, to believe in one God, the creator of all the creations. And all the prophets guided the people to this religion, Al-Islam. And all the prophets lived as Muslims, worshipping Allah, God, alone. And all of them died as Muslims, worshipping Allah, alone. We ask Allah to let us die as a good, pious Muslims. We ask Allah to keep us steadfast on the correct belief and to end our life as good, pious believers and to gather us with the prophets and the pious ones in paradise. Ameen. And Allah knows best.